like to play singles, but I gotta go babysit. Well, once Tyler shows up over there, I'll be at home.
It's on. Look at that. score sheet and do you have an opponent that are currently waiting on the table. I have a few available tables for reassignment. Once again, I need both players and your score sheet to the tournament desk. I have a few tables available for reassignment. Commentating here for you guys. It's Patrick Nix with Evo Sports live at the Western Pennsylvania Eight Ball Championships in Lincoln City. Pretty good matchup going on here. Ladies, platinum oh, yeah. singles. Junior Sergeant Seymour versus Eric Sumikel. Let's see, Eric's game. Yesterday, he played on one of our tables. He's still in the east side, so pretty good matchup so far. Race to six, it's tied up at 2-2. Two -two. A nice look at this table. And he's got a breakout bump for the eight bars. Looks like he's got a pass. Ten ball. Very long second. I was waiting here, Dr. Remember. Make sure you get a shot at him. Because he's buying up 15 bucks for his next shot. Uh, I didn't have to do anything tonight, so 
plan B. Plan B is going to have to be coming around here. I'm still on the way. At the tournament desk? Yeah, and they said either on the other side and there's nobody there or down by the stairs. Yeah, the the WBCA. Yeah, WBCA is the front one? Yeah. Safety play by Eric. Getting Junior locked up in jail. Uh, we were out we were six feet. You might have a good look at it. Three rail Three rail kick. Three rail kick. The only play he's got is just a little three rails in this. It's kind of hard to tell from our angle. I believe that's the only play he's going to he, he might not be able to see that far off on the side rail, but not sure how much of the seven has that. If that's the outside left spin. And if you're from the yeah, he's going inside. I think the seven is really blocking the path when you really have to take an easier position going three or just two ball. Good safety by Eric. And he's still might play another save here, let us see. I wouldn't blame him if he did. Yeah, he's calling safety again. Probably, probably going to try to tuck the key behind the ball. And it's probably not too much team here. Yeah, that was pretty good. Nice and tight. I had seen some of this even in the worst place that it just was. So, we might try the same one rail shot, maybe this time on this side of the line. So, might, might be looking at coming this way. Right to here. I think that pretty much is the only opportunity to really get anything done on this one. Oh, yeah. He almost followed my mind. I think we'd be a little, uh, little outside, a little right spin on that. I think he get, follows that line to get there. I'm going to bring in a co-commentator here, Paul Rich Arenas. Let's get him set up with the headset here. Right there, I'm going to turn the volume up. Welcome, welcome, Ben. Well, thank you, Patrick. Uh, thank you, everybody else. It's good to be Good to have you. Mm -hmm. always, a, always a pleasure to uh, see you out here and former teammate of mine, and Brenda Ria. Former opponent in this tournament as well. So another safety just to get the two ball out. So this is his third safety to row for Eric. Because we are commentating the match. We have to keep our voices to about this level. Sure. 
That's almost the same. That's almost the same as college shield, kicking horns, just like that. Is. Can you try turning the mic off on his on that? On the, Here's its bullet. Audio issues. We, we just started a new camera. Sounds better, try. Just try. By the way, it was still issue with audio issue with our microphones here, so we're just doing a quick test here to see how this sounds. Testing, testing, testing. Check, check. Okay, sounds good. So Junior getting a steal of this rack. Whereas Eric was in the driver's seat to win this thing. Junior picks up the spare. Yeah, I think, you know, leaving the second ball for your hot ball is really tough. Like, I know sometimes you just put in those situations where you have to, you know, have a tough ball to get out. Behind them and but feel free to sit down here. Sit down for the car. Sit down for the car. Yeah, you can't really borrow Bob's chairs without without talking to him. But I can, I can, we can just scoot these all over. I'm sure. Yep. Just, just uh, hop over yeah, here. Scoot that one over. It's still a little. It's still a little choppy. Just scoot, scoot over. Um, everybody, scoot over one. There you go. You're going and all bringing this. It is still choppy. Oh, my audio might be on.
Yeah, really did put Junior in a pretty tough spot. Those safeties are cool. Go an right. inch, you know. Well, well, I think we're still on an open table here, also, right? He can still use, he can still hit the, the eleven, the ten ball, right? So yeah, even even open table, you know, the open table safety is uh, not very common, right? You never want to play a, a safety with an open table because uh, you're not going to get ball in hand out of it, right? You're just right. playing to not let him have the first, you know, offensive opportunity, right? And when you're playing at the level these two guys do, you make one mistake right here, game's over. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful here and not give your opponent a shot and hope he makes a mistake and you get a shot and you run out. Right. So, junior. Interesting. That's a pretty good shot. That's pretty darn good. i tell you what, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't have a ref come over to watch that, you know, I, being that you are – a really close to double hitting right you had to elevate right. all the way up like at that angle um it you know i'm gonna probably have a ref watch that one yeah but, i think i would too but definitely you uh, know but, one little double hit in there you never know and then right but no ref means no foul right I mean, exactly you, you can't you can't call a foul on him there even if you think it was a double hit afterwards you can't do it they'll say well you should have called us over right you know and Right. Have us judge it. You might be able to call it, but it's not going to do you any it's good. It's not going to give you a ball in hand. Yeah. No, it won't. So, I've been through before. This I is know. very interesting. So, I, have is. you seen a – this is four open table safeties in a row. It is. And that's so rare. It looks yeah. like that seven goes. Does it look like the seven goes to you? Uh, which one? Uh, yeah, seven maybe. Let's Let's take a look. It's – if he wasn't, if Eric wasn't standing in our way, we'd be able to see it. But you know, it's it's a good possibility that you know he's got that that ball right to the pocket here. I think he does. But I would I would think that if if Junior had that shot, he would have been he would have shot it already. Right, and it might be it might be tighter than what we think, or maybe he doesn't have it. It's kind of hard to tell from here. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I got to think if, if it's, if it's, if he's got the whole ball, he would have shot it already. He's jacking up a, a little bit. Yeah, so he did have it. That means he just had, he had to push it through a little bit, force it through a little bit, jacking up like that, hitting with his center English, going down on the ball. You just got to force it through. What he's doing is forcing it through a little bit. He didn't have to use English, which can be because he didn't want to. He didn't want to roll the ball in. Right, he, he wanted right. to kind of stun the cue ball down, and it, yeah. it was a very well executed shot not oh, easy to do hit the ball really well and good shape on the three that's right. going to get him nice to the this guy here he's he's a loose player i mean he plays loose and if, and if you don't put the pressure on him he can come up with a really strong game he can get confident you know so oh yeah so eric's gonna have to play you know pretty tight from here on out i think now, are you pretty familiar with Junior's game? Yes, I am. I, I, I have seen him play before, and he plays really well. Yeah. I, the I, thing is, is you got to keep the pressure on him, and then you can keep that down a little bit. But if he can free wheel on you, he's one of the you know, best free wheelers there are in the Northwest. You know, if he gets confidence, and he can just free wheel. He's really tough to beat them. Yeah, and I, I know that, you know, He's been around the game for many, many years and uh, raised a fantastic pool player and his son, Daniel. Oh, who, his son plays great. I mean, you know, he's right on the cusp of being a pro. He just won the uh, Predator 9-ball, uh, the CSI 9-ball Open. Yes, yes, he did in, in Las Vegas. Vegas, yes. I was, happened to be there to get to watch the his uh, hot seat match in finals. So that was really fun to watch. Oh, that's... 
that's a that's a blow there and eric's got to take full advantage of this try to tie up this game everything's there for him yes it is there you're not going to get too many of those opportunities no you're not going to and you really need this game you know the difference between three to three and four to two is huge on a race to six so he needs to find a way to win this game right now would be better than later um yeah. you know, just to run out and he's got a great opportunity to see what he does yeah yeah i mean find a way it's the way is already there he just needs to execute right it's, right it's it's just yeah stay in shape and you're already home free the game is yours to to take right here you have to do something to screw it up. Oh, oh I should, yeah, just, you, uh, just as I said, you jinxed him. I get, I did, but that's the only way. I right. mean, you know what I mean. Like it, most of the players at the platinum I level or above, wrong. you know, they're they're not gonna they're gonna get out there. Right. You, you can't well, give them those open if, looks. If you watch that again, you can see how he moved his body right on his backstroke. He mm -hmm. moved his torso. He moved it to the left, which just throws everything off when you do that. And we all get these little pick up sometimes and, and you hope it doesn't happen at that time but it did so yeah and let's see if he has to pay the price you know and usually the better your opponent plays the more little hiccups your body has exactly isn't that funny how that works yes it is i yeah. think it's called anxiety yeah but you know that's why the the, the best players are the best players because that doesn't it doesn't bother them you know, they, right. they've been they there so thrive, much. Yeah, yeah, they thrive on that yeah. situation. There's been, they have so much experience. Uh -huh. Yes. That it's just like a practice match. You know what I mean? Right. It, does, it, it feels the same as just playing at home with a friend. You know, it's not, there's not the nerves and the, the nervous twitches like, uh, you know, newer players. But it takes many years to, to get to that, right? Uh -huh. And I'm not saying they don't have nerves. They're human, right? And there's, sure. You know, the further you get in the bracket, and the, uh, the more money that's going to be on the line and all that stuff. But uh, Junior's no stranger to that. Right. I, I suspect him to make this eight ball right here. It's a pretty simple shot. It stays down. He no does problem. stay down, and he strokes it right at all. Yes. Yep. Well, when you say stay down for Junior, that's still standing up because he, <laughs> he does. He, does, he doesn't. He's he not. Play, he, he plays it on. His, his, his stance is high. He does stand up. Yeah, I, I believe that's from a you know physical like an injury from previous. So he has yes. you know there's there's something there that doesn't really allow him to get down on the right. shot. Right. And uh, he he asked me uh, one time. He said, uh, "Let's let's play a set where you, you have to you can't get down on your shot." <laughs> I said, "I think that you might have the advantage there." Yes, he would have the advantage there. <laughs> he has the advantage on any issue over me in uh, any way, but. I, I like Junior. He's he's a fun he's a fun guy, good guy, character, and oh, he's a great guy. You know, I've never seen him have a problem with anybody. I mean, it, he's just a great guy. He really is. Yeah, he's a good pool player. You know, it's great for the Northwest yeah. pool, pool family. All right, let's see this break. Breaking from the rail. That's a nice break. Look, yeah, look that at that cue ball. ball. Yes, right. Is That's it dead almost center? dead center. It really is. <laughs> right, and a good scatter, a ball in, and yes. absolutely nothing. So what's the odds that he's going to run it out? I'd say better than 60 or 70% I'm chance giving, to run I'm, yeah, it out. I'm probably going to give him 80. I, I really, well. If it's okay, the seven. So, so if he takes the okay. stripes, yeah, he has to ahead. come down for the 10. That's his only thing he has to do. But, it, but if he takes solids, you got to come down for the 7. Right, and, when, and you got a little bit of a three six. It's not much of an issue. You know, you can always shoot the six first. Come, come back to the three after that. Yeah, I mean, solids is a little bit of an issue. You know, because you got the right. you know this right this there. deal where you have to shoot the six first, right? Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it, you know, you look at all those things. But then stripes has this, you know, this kind of the fourteen ball over mm -hmm. here and the ten yeah. ball way down here, right? So you've got a couple of issues there. So he likes solids. I don't right. blame him. It's right. a good choice. It is. I think honestly, I think he's going to run out either one if he if he takes it. So, yeah, I, I think he's going to put a stop shot here on the four and take care of that six ball. He right. wants he yes. wants a six ball early because, right. or oh, he gets on the seven. Then that seven he, was a little bit of an yeah. issue too, but he got on it. Yeah, or get on the seven. Now he does have to also come back down for the eight he as does. well. So the would you go a little bit of right English? Maybe go two rails on this with the cue ball? Would you use it yeah. a little bit inside? Yeah. Left. I'm, I'm kind of like an inside. Yeah, I'm like an inside because I don't want to risk running into the 
those, those stripes. Right. You know, there's there's traffic. You could have a collision. I like inside here. I think yeah, you I could, do too. It's thin enough to where you could no no problem get the cue ball back to mid table position right. somewhere, just somewhere just, in this area just here. Really I'm gonna roll the ball. Keep your head down. Stay within the shot. Right? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna draw my circle for his position. There you and go. see if see if we get it. Oh, he went oh, two, he rails. Did two rails. And he was headed. He was headed for my circle, but he's right on the right line. Right, right. He's okay. He can actually take that six right now if he wants to get on get on the five, which he'll probably do. Well, at least attempt the six. I'll say that. Yep. Oh, it rattles it. it did. So your eighty percent went down considerably there. It did. Yeah. Yeah, runouts are hard. You know, there's just one little thing has to go wrong, and that's right. you know out of eight shots. Well, you know, I experienced that last night against you. <laughs> you beat me last night. Yeah. But you know what, brother? You played great, and I was I was really happy for you. Well, about an hour after the math. Match. Yeah, after you calm down about it a little bit. After a couple of beers later. Yes, you know, yes, yes. Yeah. I was okay. Well, I think you, you're you feeling better than the guy felt this morning that I did a 6-0 Oh, I know. I saw that. Yeah, I got so, up this morning and I looked and I go, oh, man, jeez. I, I, put a, I put a clinic on him. I mean, it was uh, probably one of the best sets that I've played uh, in a, maybe ever. But, I mean, it was, uh, you know, break and run, table run, you know, my break was working. His break wasn't. I was running out every opportunity, pretty much. Uh, you know, I was getting my safeties working. Yeah. And um, it just everything was falling into place, well, right? You know, when you and then by that time, he, he got so frustrated. He had slammed his cue on the ground a couple of times. You know, I mean, I, and I knew once he started slamming his cue around, I, I knew it was mine. You know, right, that right, that was when it was right. three nothing. You know, right. When, when that happens to, to your, your opponent starts acting that way as a pool player. You're supposed to put it on them even tougher after that. Oh, you know? it gives you it, it well. Just, it gives it you more. Just, gives you more confidence. It does. It yeah. does. Because you know that you know that's it's a train wreck, and you're not gonna you're not gonna put the brakes on the train for them. You're gonna right. you're gonna you know hit the throttle right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So would you like to get on the ten from here off the eleven? Or is yeah, he, but or you is know. He, I think he has too much angle to hold for the 15 and get on to 10, right? Yeah, I think he can. I think he can draw here. And get over to the 10. And, yeah. And come right. into this area. You know, I, I think he's just got to put, uh, let me put my cue ball up, indicator you know, up here. I, I kind of like a light little draw here, not too much, because that ball will come down. And if you come down too much, you might end up straight in. And you're in a lot of trouble. If you end up straight in, you're in some trouble if you get on the rail. You, you can get out of it if yeah. you're off the rail, you know, and draw out of it. Yes. Yeah, what but would I you say? Like just, just, just straight draw, or maybe a little low left. I, a little, a little low right. Oh, low right. Okay, uh -huh. a little low right. It's nice and easy. And he bumps it. That's a nice bump. Yeah, he got fortunate there. That he hit it good though. Sometimes you get a good roll when you hit a ball good, and he did hit it good. But that can be chancy. If you hit that ten, things can go wrong. But he came out all right, and I think he's going to be just fine here to get out. Let's see. Yep. And he definitely needs this rack for sure. He does. Uh, you ooh, know, ooh, ooh. he's Side good. Pocket. Yeah, he's Side good for pocket. the. Yeah, it's not okay. the ideal. It's not the ideal way, no. but it's what he's got. He's gonna have to use a little bit of low left, I think, and just steer away from the eight, shooting the fifteen in the side, and bounce off the rail and get eight in that right hand corner. I would imagine. I think so too. Oh. He did that. No, he decided to bump it. Yeah. Which is, I, I just don't. Eric's a good player. It's kind of dangerous. I, I, yeah, it is dangerous doing that. But, but okay. now but he's he got a bank. bank. But he's got yeah. a bank. He's, he's got a bank. Down, he can be fine. And the pressure's on because he, if he misses this bank, Junior is probably out and on the hill 5-2. Right. Right? It's, it's a pressure shot. Well, let's see what he does. He... Oh, oh, so, so close. close. It was. Yeah. You know, on these tables, that makes a big difference. The speed that you shoot it, you know, you shoot it fast, it shortens up a lot. You right. shoot it slow, it widens out a lot, you know. It so and he, he rolled that pretty slow, and that might have widened the angle a little more than he was expecting. So, you know, you, I, I try to practice those banks, at, you know, at a, at a medium speed. Right. So I know exactly what's going to happen. You know, I know exactly mm -hmm. the angle it's going to go in at that 5 out of 10 speed, right? right. And... Uh, but he hit that at more like a two or three, right? For he did. A bank yeah. Shot. yeah. Yeah. 
at least a three. Yeah, so. Which, just, is not, which is not near enough. You want to hit that, what, a 405, would you say? Maybe even a 6 is okay, right? Yeah, I, I prefer, you know, honestly, I, I prefer to hit banks a little firmer on these diamond tables uh, because so they stiffen up and they they become very accurate, right? Holds the line a little bit better, right? Yeah, the, the, and the spin doesn't grab as much when it hits the rail. If you, if you inadvertently used a little bit of side spin that you didn't mean to, it's not going to grab as much when it hits that rail if you're powering it in there. It's just going to go in a straight line, bing, bing. You know? 100% agree. 100% agree. So, uh, but the big, big uh, turn there for Eric. He had the opportunity to get out again, actually. You know, the last two racks yes. could have been his, and that yes. would have, you know, that would have been Eric up 4 3. You know, if he closes out his opportunities in those previous two racks, he's up 4 3. Those missed opportunities just eat away at you in this in these race, these short races. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, you know because you don't get a chance to make it back if it's a race no. to 11 you get a chance to kind of make right. it back somewhere but um you don't you don't get extra chances no you don't you don't and, ju and juniors he's feeling pretty good right now so you know he, eric really has to you know he has to play flawless from here on out and maybe get a couple rolls you know Yeah, he, but you're right. He has to play perfect, and he has to hope that Junior's break and not work is not working. Yeah. And, and you know, because a break and run, you, you can play perfect, and your opponent still break and run and win the set. Right. You know, so the well, thing is, is Junior's had a couple of really good breaks in this in this set. Also, look at this. Look at this little. The, 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 I wonder if the template rack didn't really. I wonder if they weren't really tight in there because you don't see that very often uh -huh. with a template rack in eight ball. Right. You don't see the. I believe those are the same balls that were racked there. Kind of looks that way. Not very common. It's not like they broke out and went back right. in that area. They and stayed it, there. It didn't sound like he hit it really solid. Uh, you know, he might have hit, he hit it side. pretty decent. You know, but he's got a big stroke. But it, it just didn't sound right either. Yeah. But I think you're right. There, there may, there had to have been a, a gap in there also. And then maybe him not hitting it quite right, you know, leaves you with that. Yeah, and as far as templates go, that that one that they're using is is not my favorite. You know, I know they sell them here, and they they say the Western BCA, you know, but the Accurac, they're the paper ones. They, I just, oh, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> This is this is one of my moves. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, oh, safe. I, you got back there. Oh. I, I I I like you know if if the rack is still on the table because people haven't moved it and I'm gonna play a safety, you know, into the stack. I know that the the template is gonna hold the cue ball in there, just lock it into right. the balls, right? So uh, it's a little cheap, but I'll do it. You know, I'm you know it's I've within never the rules. Of that one, I'm gonna have to start hanging around you a little more. Often, yeah, yep. Yeah. If yes. if somebody leaves the rack on the table and you've got a little cluster in there. If yeah. you want to play a safety, it's a good place to play it because it you can is. you can roll it in there, and that's what it's designed to do: make the balls touching each other. You know, you don't have to try to lock it up. Let the rack do the work for you. That's why I always try to remove it. Uh, you know, when I'm you know right. when, yeah. So your opponent can't yeah. get that. Uh, yeah, advantage. exactly, <laughs> exactly. We've seen some really fun attempts by referees to try to remove the rack when there's like four or five balls in there and they've got all these trinkets yeah. and tools oh, and gadgets sure. that they're right. trying to you know to hold the position and they've got to remove three or four balls. It's kind of entertaining to watch. Sometimes it takes yes. a couple of refs to do it, you know? Right. You get, sure. like a, it might take four hands, right? Yeah, it looks like a, a surgeon and his crew, yeah, you right. know, like hand me the scalpel, you know, like you're trying to perform the rackectomy, right? The rackectomy. I like that. <laughs> but they're not too worried about removing it. So what's he got here? Is he playing nine in the side or is he going corner? Is, yeah, that's a small okay. pocket. Yeah, it was. That was a small pocket. I don't, I don't tend to like those shots very much, but 
Well, he had to leave the 12 down there, but I'm sure what he had, he couldn't do much else. Can, do you, does it look like maybe that 13 goes by that 14 down in the corner? Yeah, it, yeah, it does. So, because he does that, need, that, he does need that. Maybe yeah, the 15 maybe to get on. Yeah, this is his next shot. It has to be. You know, if he can roll down just about a foot, foot and a half, he can use top left English shooting the 15 in that left corner and break out that 12 ball inside pocket. Honestly, now, I know that's uh, tough. I, honestly, I the tangent line takes him right. I think right to the eight ball. It does. Oh, okay, so I, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so make this maybe go in my opinion. Yet. Next. Uh, he hit it too too thin, overcut it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I wonder if the six is playable off the fourteen here. Sure you know, into this it looks like it can could very well be. Actually, looking at the table, I say yes, don't you? Yeah, I do too. Right. I think it's pretty I like much. It. I think you could hit it bad and still make it. He's going it. He's going it now. He's going at it right now. And get on the four, could you imagine? Or, or get on the three. Because uh, the three's a little bit weird, but not too bad. With the two there, you can shoot the seven. Oh. That was a tough time to put to, to play that shot. Well, a, a real tough time. Did you notice he only took two strokes or shot? Yeah. You know, when we do that, we know what usually happens. It doesn't even matter if you're a three or four stroke person or a five stroke person. You take one or two. You can miss anything. We we know oh, we, yeah. we've all done it before. So Eric ties up a ties up a couple of juniors balls here, he does. and he also opens up that pocket for the, the twelve ball. ball. He did. That was yep. a very good shot. Nope. Just got to work this out. I think. What do you think? Stop it and just shoot that thirteen down, and just be careful. Make sure you get another shot. Yeah. I, I think well, he's using top, so the one thing that I'm looking at, because I can see directly down the line at the table and mm -hmm. looking at the 15 to this pocket over here, and it does not go. It does not go. I can see that it does not go. So if he stopped right there shooting that 13, he could do a little force through and, and make it right there. You know, even draw it back a couple inches. That's your angle you want, right? Cut it and just do a little force through because you could you could force it through a little bit. Yeah. Still make that 15. I mean, like it. It's, it's very minute. It's like a millimeter that it doesn't yeah. go. You could right? basically. So, so that. Four, yeah, I get there, what you're saying. The force through. You can just use a straight follow through center English, stroke through the ball, not very hard, after this 13. But, and, and that 15 will go. Where does the eight ball go if you do that force through? Well, yeah, that eight ball, that is going towards the side pocket. I don't. Just, yeah, it's too hard for us to tell from our angle, true. but I, I would true. be aware of that right you want right, to be aware right. because if you're doing that that shot that you're talking about the eight ball is going to get moving right yeah and it is aiming somewhat towards the side pocket mm -hmm. and it could go off the two in the side potentially i don't i don't know exactly yeah, but we've all seen some weird things in pool yeah never, the last thing you want to do is have that eight flying around the table right i'd rather i'd rather set up for a safety where you can lock the cue ball to the back of the 15 somehow or something and break it out that Here's way here. does that two ball go it's tight but it looks like with that perfect leave that he got that might go in there and he's not hesitating it does go it does and now he's going to try to break out the eight well, the eight's almost in the same situation yeah it it's is a 15 but it's on the other side right it, it is i think it is the eight is not shootable as well so he needs a little bump. He tried to get it right there. Well, I, I like the body English too. He right. does a little hop when he's but trying you, to. But you, come it on, was good, but you know, if he barely hits that fifteen, he's hooked. You know, so that was a little chancy there. So one thing to keep in mind is, I believe that the eight plays in the side. I think it that does play in the I side think, right there. Yeah, I think it that does. it plays right. in the side. So right. he can use the four ball to get the eight. Is he asking for a rack removal? Think so. Oh, this is going to be yes. interesting. This is going to be interesting. You I mean, know what he? Oh, you know, you, what? you know what he's going to do? What? Oh, I don't know. If I, can you deny that if you are Eric? Because I would not want the balls I, changed. I don't. I don't think you can. I think you can ask to have the ref. And, to and do they it. just do it, and you're. Yeah, you just have the ref do it. But, I don't know. Do they put it down perfect every time? Well, it's really close. I know. We're going to find out because, because we, we know what it looks like right now. Right. We've, we've been studying it for 10 well, minutes, right? It's really so, crucial, though. I mean, it is. It, it, it could be set up just a tiny, anything different 
one way or another makes it shot completely different. It does because yeah, we're talking about a, yes. a half a millimeter yeah, makes a difference, yes. you know. Yes. Oh, so here we go. We just talked about this about their the refs and their fancy tools that they right. have for removing balls and no, no, no. getting the racks off the table. Well, Patrick, let's see how Patrick handles hand this, right? That's ref's name, Patrick. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm not going to do it. Don't don't ask me to do it. <laughs> Somebody asked me one time. I was sitting here a couple of days ago, and they said it was on it was on fun day. Wait, mm -hmm. The refs don't work on fun day. Uh -huh. And the lady said, uh, "Will you you know? There's no refs here, but will you watch a shot? You know?" And I said, uh, "Well, I'm not a ref." And I said, "If you both agree, I'll, I'll watch it. But if you both agree that." You know, you're you're gonna go with what I say. I'll give you my best my best judgment. I'm a pretty good judge, you know. Right. So I did, and the guy got mad at me because I called it a foul because he <laughs> he was a, it was an obvious double hit. He shot right through the ball. The ball was only about a, you know an eighth of an inch away from the cue ball, and he shot straight through it. Well, I have to tell you though, I'm not so sure that eight's not tougher now. It is tougher. I don't think it. Yeah, I don't think he put it back exactly. He did not. That's what I was saying. I didn't know the rule, but I would. I, I think, if I was Eric, I would wanted to decline is, that. I think this is a because now that eight does seeing, not go. I think we're seeing a veteran move by Junior I to, to, to so. just because it was in a bad, like it was in a bad spot. There's no, it couldn't have been worse, right? right. So it's like, if the ref removes it and puts it back, it couldn't be worse. It might be a little better. And I think it's what it. I think it's what it happened. <laughs> okay, so people, when I say that it won't go now, yes, it will still go, but you're going to have to use a little bit of a drag draw stroke to force that look, eight through so a little look bit at what more. He's, look what he's looking at. He's yeah, looking right, at the eight right. in the he side. He is looking at the side. I, I, like, it might not have actually played in the side before. Right. And now it might. I don't know. Now, the drag stroke I was talking about is if you get stuck, you have to shoot in that corner. Now, if he gets on the side pocket, he's looking better, but I think it, the, the shot is different on the eight. Yeah, there's no no doubt. And but, I know I, I I I did take off my headphones just to see just to hear how loud we are. Uh, and I think the yeah, well I don't want the players to hear us. So because okay. uh, we are commentating on table one here, so just make sure that mic is. And I'm going to turn up your okay. volume, and okay. then you can just talk a little bit lower. Yeah, there you go. And we'll just turn up our volume so that uh, we can be not as loud, and right. the nice. viewers at home can still hear us. How how's that? Sounds great. Okay, Sounds good. Really good. I know when you get excited, you know, it, well, it's you hard to... I think he just stays down on this ball. As long as he doesn't overshoot this, you know, or just get a little yip, you know, in the backstroke, he's going to be fine. He breaks it out anyway. So it out. didn't really matter. Uh, hmm. so, well, yeah. I give him 60% to make the shot, though. Don't you? Well, around there? Are you going to cut it or bank it? You're going to cut it inside. Every, every time. Well, every, it, every it time. does look like a dead straight bank. The side pocket is a lot smaller. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. It's far enough out. That... Yeah. And he made it. No, he... No, I thought it was going to... He's he's sweating it because it came and it bumped that the corner yeah. of that pocket. So well, Junior start on Celio is still on the A side. I think he's won his first four matches.